Hey people of YouTube, this is a Briarfest tip and um, just, you know, what to do at Briarfest and what goes on at Briarfest video because I thought I'd be helpful for the first timers and people who want to know some things. So let's get started. Um, first off, like way before Briarfest, I try to get along the horses that I want to get. Um, this is my wish list for this year. Um, I know I can't get all of these, but it's easier and more handy to look for the horses that you actually want instead of try to, you know, figure it out there and then. Um, I also make shirts, like, for YouTubers, for, like, the YouTube meet. Um, it shows people that you're wanting to, you know, show off and just be a YouTuber. This was from 2011, because that's the last time I went. Um... Bring lots of water, sunscreen, comfy shoes, you know, just stuff that you would bring on a normal trip to the beach. Besides a beach ball and, you know, swimsuit. It just, it's common sense there. Um, it's going to be hot. It's going to be rainy if it does rain. So just, you know, bring what you normally do on a vacation. Um, a lot of people have questions over the special runs and or the celebration model, how do you get them, whatever and whatnot. To get into the park, you have to be wearing this uh, button. This is an adult button. And a lot of people just wear them on their chest or put them on their bags and whatever. A lot of people just walk in, too. They don't actually, like, like stare at your button. Um, so, yeah. Just make sure you have that when you get into the park. Um... Your celebration model, which I have Pecos here, uh, is the free one you get when you get your tickets online. I guess you could say he's not really free because the tickets are $75, but whatever. <laughs> uh, you have to hand this to the window, which the window is on the map. Um, this is the Briarfest programs you guys get when you get there, when you walk through the gate. They'll have them. You can pick them up. Um, you just kind of go straight, it's, it's really simple. Don't go to get your celebration model right away. There's going to be like a huge, huge line. Um, so you can go anytime to get it. I know last year they had problems with, uh, Mariah's boon running out and they gave out Taskins. Don't wait too long to get them. Just don't go when there's a giant line. Just pick it up, you know, when there's a shorter line. So yeah, you just kind of hand them this ticket and they tear off the thing and you get your horse. Um, you don't get to choose which one you want. So some of them do come with flaws, like this one uh, squeaks when you move it. And he has some issues. But the other one I got was pretty fine. And then your special round tickets, which is the most confusing. I still kind of don't get it and it's my going to be my third year going. Uh, they'll have a number there, and your times. And they'll mark it off when you get your horses, which I have some recent, well, not recent special runs, but some special runs I have right here. Um, you only get two for one ticket. So if I wanted, I don't know, let's make up a horse, Tinseltown for 2010, and he wasn't on the line, on the table, I could not get him. So I had to pick red carpet royalty for that year. Um, because Tinseltown was sold out for that day, or that time. So, yeah, your number has to be good to get the special ones you want, or they will sell out for that time. Um, 143, let's say if I was 142, I think you'd go to the back of the line. I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive on this, so watch other videos, but I'm pretty sure if you were 142, you would go to the back of the line, and 143 and on would go to the front. It might be 144 to the back of the line. I'm not positive. It's been a year, but um, that is what I would do. So you really just get the horses that are on the table still. So if you get a really good number, you have a good chance of getting the special runs you want. But if you don't, um, you may have to get them like at the Clarion. And then the YouTube meet. A lot of people bring models to sign, which I have not done that yet. I'm thinking about doing it this year. You can always bring, like, a beat-up old vintage model. Um, this is not the one I'm choosing. But, uh, like, her, she's beat-up, she's boring, she's not even rare. 
Um, so you could bring one like her, or you can bring the extra celebration model you get. Um, I wouldn't do that. Personally, I would not do that either, because if you don't let the model, just sell it. <laughs> I got called stupid one year for not bringing a celebration model to sign and or a horse to sign. They also have guest horses that come every year to Briarfest, and you can get them signed. Um, like, I got Kong signed, and then I got Dusty signed. They have certain time limits that you can go get your horses signed, which they're all in the program. I see, they're all in the program, and right here. Um, so, there will be a line for that, but you'll have so many people to talk to, the line will go really fast and you won't even know you were standing in line that long. Um, the store specials. Uh, they will be a horse that is available in the Breyer store, which is, a lot of people say, the Ninja Pit of Death um, for Friday morning. I have never been to the Ninja Pit of Death, so those type of questions are not ones to ask me. I just know it's hectic and you have to get there early. Um, but the store specials, if they are common, like a really good mold like Taskin, the Goffert mold. He sold out pretty fast. They do save amounts for Friday and for Saturday, but he will sell out fast if it's a common mold. Like the Bridie this year, it will go extremely fast. I don't know about the Lucas Bandit, but the Bridie will go fast. Um, In 2011, they had this guy, and he went so slow. They still have some of him left on, on Briar's website. So he's not a popular mold at all. So, like, if it's not a popular mold, you get to pick out which one you want. Um, like, they made this one a freaking mare, and it's a stallion. I mean, it's a gelding. So, he was not very popular. I just got him because he was cute, and I love the actual horse. But, um, don't fret. If you can't find them at the Briar store, they will be at the Holiday Inn. They might be, or the Clarion, excuse me. They might be, um, like, more expensive, but they will be there. And then... I don't know. Just enjoy yourself. Make tons of random videos and have a blast. It will be the best three days of your life <laughs> if it's your first time going. Like, you will be blown away. <clears throat> if you have any more questions, uh, comment below. Oh, one good thing to do, decorate your car with, like, anything Briar Fest because you'll have people honk if you're driving and it's hilarious. It's just awesome. Um, and don't leave your models in the car, like, for a long period of time. Make sure they're not directly in the window, <laughs> because people have had issues with, um, horses, uh, melting, like, beating heat bubbles, I don't even know. I've never had that happen, but I've heard people have had that happen, so, please, um, <clears throat> excuse me, be careful with your models. Uh, people have been known to steal and or be plain out rude there. I, I've never experienced it. I've had great, great service at any hotel and or vendor I have been to, so just please be uh, courteous to the people around you. Um, yeah, I hope to see you guys all there, and if you have any more questions, like I said, comment below. Um, I do not know if I was correct on that. I'm pretty sure I was, but don't, uh, you know, count me on that. So yeah, I will see you all at Briarfest 2013. Bye.